Now we want to derive equation of motion of a particle moving under central force using Lagrangian formulation. I am Dinesh Bobre, working as assistant professor at NB Mehta Science College, Bodhi District, Palgar. The motion of particle under the action of inverse attractive force is shown in figure 1 mass is moving at this point in this along this uh, path and this is a planar motion and for planar motion we know we need two coordinates to explain the equation of explain the motion of the particle here is r and theta are the two coordinates which are changing uh, as mass moves from one position to another position the number of masses for this system are one here the constant equation for this system is phi equal to constant this is a single constant equation for this motion degrees of freedom f equal to 3n minus k is equal to 3 into 1 minus 1 equal to 2 where n is the number of mass 1 and degrees of freedom therefore becomes 2 because k is 1 here therefore degrees of freedom for this motion are 2 means it is two dimensional motion actually let us find the kinetic energy of mass m a t is equal to half mv square it is basic equation of one half or half mv square is equal to one half m r dot square plus r square theta dot square which is kinetic energy for two dimensional motion in spherical polar coordinates the potential energy at point a is v equal to minus k by r that is potential energy at point a means at this point of mass v r equal to minus k upon r the lagrangian's equation of the system is given by l equal to t minus v here l is half m r dot square plus r square theta dot square which is kinetic energy plus k by r it is minus k by r is potential energy and therefore it becomes plus now derivative of l with respect to r is m r square theta dot in this here is second term in which there is r and derivative of this with respect to r is half into 2 r theta dot square 2 to cancel and we get m r square theta dot square minus k by r square derivative of k is constant 1 over r is minus 1 over r square therefore it is minus k by r square divided by r dot equal to m r dot okay here is only r dot and therefore divided by r dot is m r dot divided by whatever theta is 0 because in a Lagrangian there is no theta term here is theta dot term only there is no theta term therefore divided by theta is equal to 0 divided by theta dot is equal to m r square theta dot because in here is theta dot present and derivative of this term with respect to theta dot is m r square theta dot the Lagrangian equation of motion is here are two equations of motion actually for r coordinate and for theta coordinate for r coordinate if we put divided by r dot value m r dot here we get d by dt m r dot minus m r square theta dot divided by r is m r square theta dot minus k upon r square therefore it becomes minus m r theta dot square plus k upon r square equal to 0 and here divided by theta dot is m r square theta dot therefore it becomes d by dt m r square theta dot equal to 0 derivative of this term with respect to t is m r dot double dot m r double dot minus m r square theta dot plus k by r square equal to 0 and if the derivative of this term is 0 we can take this term as a constant that is m r square theta dot is a constant of motion this is angular momentum actually which is constant during the motion we have two equations of motion first is m r double dot minus m r square theta dot square first is m r double dot minus m r theta dot square plus k upon r square equal to 0 and another one is m r square theta dot is equal to constant this equation also can be written as r double dot minus r theta dot square plus k upon m r square equal to 0 
and m r square theta double dot plus 2 m r r dot theta dot equal to 0 if you took derivative of this term you get this or by cancelling m on both sides we get r theta double dot plus also by cancelling r also we get r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot equal to 0 thank you we learned that the central force motion is a two dimensional motion because this is a planar motion along a plane mass is moving and therefore there is one coordinate r and another coordinate theta which are changing uh, with respect to time and therefore equation consists of two equations of motion okay i stop here thank you